Hey everybody, Philip Janetsky here. In this video, I'll be talking about pedals. I have a second pedal board on the floor, which I um, built yesterday, simply because these are pedals that I either demoed quite some time ago or very recently, and I was inspired by the sounds that I was coming up in my demos. So I wanted to put some pedals on a you know pedal board in order to share some sounds in this video with you guys, hopefully inspire you. Um, let you guys know what I like about the pedals, how I like to run them. Also go for pedal combinations. This is my old pedal board. If you are following me for a while, there's, you know, you, you will know I always go for fuzz into overdrive, into time, uh, time effects, so delay and reverb. And at the end, I like to have some trem, mainly the jam pedals Harmonious Monk, because I love harmonic trem. On this pedal board, I have the Mood, which is super inspiring. There's some super cool delay and reverb sounds, but it's also a micro looper and um, loving the Mood. However, let me leave this on the floor. However, with this pedal board, I went for Wah first. I have the Waco here, which is my go-to Wah pedal. I have it here in the studio all the time, using it all the time, but it doesn't, uh, it didn't make its way into videos, at least not recently. So I, I'm running the Waco first. From there, I go into the Retro Vibe, which I'm loving. I used it in my last video with the King Fuzz and I really love the sound, so I thought it needs to be here. So Waco, Retro Vibe. Then I go into the King Fuzz, which is killer. If you don't know Bigfoot Engineering and Rise, you should check him out. It's my last video, so if you want to hear some fuzzy sounds and, you know, some super cool fuzz mayhem, check it out. Um, the other fuzz, which was my go-to fuzz recently, is the Benson Stonkbox. I really love it. It's, it has a bit less gain than the King Fuzz, so it's a beautiful... Um, it's a beautiful counterpart. I will let you guys hear that. From there, I go into the superconductor, which is super versatile. I have it in the in the microamp setting, which I will let you guys hear. And I like to use either the boost by itself or run it into the light speed, which is after. From there, I go into the Benson delay. From the Benson delay into the Skylar. You know, on my old board, I have the the Collider by Source Audio, which is super powerful. You have a delay and a reverb side. You can save presets and with MIDI, you can do crazy things. However, the Skylar has beautiful uh, algorithms as well. And I wanted to go for something a bit simpler on this board. So I have the Skylar going. Also just to, you know, dig it out again and show you guys some sounds. Also, you know, in this beautiful combination here. From the Skylar, I go into the F-stop, which I'm loving. In my King Fuzz demo, I used the Benson delay in the F-stop to kind of um, accompany some fuzzy sounds. And the, the F-stop does spring reverb beautifully and has a beautiful bias trem. So I have this trem and I have the Harmonious Monk MK1 on this board because the MK2 is in the other to also go for some harmonic trem sounds. Lots of sounds to cover. So this is my Les Paul standard 50s into the Rev D20. Which is um, not that loud because if you guys follow me for a while, you know that I love to push the Rev, which I'm doing with the light speed. And this sounds like this. And a beautiful sound, maybe some neck pickup stuff. And I would either do this or if I want the sound to be cleaner, I would only go for the superconductor. And then let's explore some reverb sounds right away. I have two presets going on. 
I'm gonna go for the light speed here. I have two presets going on on the Skylar. One is a plate reverb and the expression pedal here is also hooked up to the Skylar. So this is the, the heel position. So this is my minimum plate reverb. <laughs> And Max will be like this. And then I can go for everything in between. Let's boost the, the light speed with a superconductor here. Which is beautiful. Um, I have the other preset on the Skylar, which is the Spatium algorithm, and I have it set to to do a bit more. So I also have like a on the on the heel position, I have like a roomy sound. And the max on the toe would be like this. Which is very inspiring. I couldn't stop playing. So I had the superconductor first boosting the light speed, then I took it off. And then I was messing around. I went to the bridge pickup here, but I went down on the tone knob on the guitar, which when I go for cleaner sounds, sometimes um, is what I like to do. <laughs> Instead of, you know, tone knob on full. Especially with some slide stuff, I would always go for the tone knob down. I'm really into slide lately. Um, I guess with some fuzzier sounds, I will grab it. Uh, I will grab it again. But so you heard the Skylar, you heard the light speed, you heard the superconductor. The other thing that I like to do with a superconductor is to go for the for the range master circuit, which into the light speed sounds like this. <laughs> which is a nasty sound, but I'm really loving how Crazy Tube Circuits uh, voiced this uh, Range Master Circuit. I have this little knob here pushed down, so it's um, it's not as thin as a traditional Range Master uh, Circuit or sound would be. Uh, it's a bit fatter and it's killer, especially in the band mix. You can really, um, you know, all these mids are gonna make you stand out without uh, any problem. Okay, so this was like my drive section and you already heard the Skylar. So let's go for some fuzzier sounds with a stonk box. And this sounds like this. Which, 
which is super cool, also sounds great with some slide. And let's right away add some slap back. So something like this, let's see. which is killer, really inspiring. Um, this is the stonk box. Let, I'm gonna let you guys hear the king first in comparison with the stonk box first. which is a bit fuzzier, it's gainier, and I love to have both fuzzes on the, you know, here on the floor. Again, the stonk box. And the king fuzz. Which is, ah, just lovely. And the stonk box is a bit tighter, it's a bit, has a bit less gain, but it has a beautiful punch and like a beautiful compression going on, which, um, you know, it's a super nice counterpart to the King Fuzz, which is mayhem. Okay, both fuzzes sound great with a retro vibe in front. So this is the stonk box or the retro vibe into the stonk box. <laughs> And the retro vibe into the king first. I was also messing around with my volume knob here. Beautiful sound as well. Um, or retro vibe, you know, in a cleaner setting. I really love it. Also love the vibrato setting on it, but let's uh, what else can I show you guys? Okay, let's maybe go for a stonk box and then into the into the spring reverb side of the F stop. Let's take off the Benson delay. And then this with some wah. Which is really cool um, without the reverb. Maybe some slap instead. Or the 
King first. Really loving, loving the wacko. It sounds killer with fuzz. Um, you know, really inspiring. So, okay, what else? Let's go for some cleaner stuff and do some harmonic trem things. I'm also gonna add a little bit of plate reverb here. So something like this. Here's the bias trem on the f-stop. Here's the spring reverb from the f-stop, bias trend and a little bit of plate. the harmonic trem and the bias trem going uh, there at the same time with a little bit of plate reverb and spring reverb cool super cool sound just the last sound for this video which hopefully is not too long already the other setting on the Benson delay which I find really inspiring is with a time knob somewhere there so the repeat is something like this and I have the feedback knob almost oscillating and this also creates like a beautiful carpet and it's super fun to play on top.
So I hope I showed you guys some cool sounds with this pedal board. Um, really loving both fuzzes, fuzzes, really loving the wacko and the retro vibe, the trams here on the on the f-stop and the harmonious monk, the reverb sounds, you know, there's so much stuff here, also really fun to play around with the volume and tone knobs. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys that if you are interested in like one-to-one -one lessons or maybe even some group lessons, uh, online lessons, you can, you know, just get in touch with me. You can send me an email. My email is in the description box or write me a Instagram message or whatever. Just send me a, uh, I don't know, post. And I do offer these lessons and I want to you know, extend this. So if you like my playing and have some questions about tone, guitar stuff, theory or whatever, um, just get in touch. Otherwise, I hope you like this video. Um, there's a cool, some cool demos coming up. I'm really happy that my channel is growing slowly but steadily. Um, I really appreciate all of you guys watching my videos. Um, yeah, this is something that I'm doing now on a regular basis um, each week and I spend a lot of time, you know, thinking about these videos and creating them, coming up with these intro jams, which is also super fun. I think I might do a video about how I create these actually. I had a request in, uh, in one of the comments. If you have any other requests, just, you know, just write me a comment or send me a message as I said. I'm happy to, you know, um, go in, into the direction which you guys are interested in. But as I said, the demo videos will definitely continue. There's some cool pedals coming my way right now. And I really appreci appreciate you guys watching my videos, appreciate watching this video. Please leave me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you for the next one. Ciao.